Hello viewers. Imagine waking up every morning, not to the familiar sight of your bedroom, but to the breathtaking view of Earth suspended in a sea of stars. This is a daily routine for astronauts living in space. But, what does it really entail to live among the stars? First, let's talk about the essentials. Water, food, and oxygen. In space, there's no corner store to pop into when you run out of milk. Instead, astronauts rely on supplies sent from Earth, but they also employ some amazing technology. For example, they recycle almost all of the water they use. Yes, you heard right. And when it comes to food, they feast on a variety of vacuum-sealed meals that were once deemed as space food, but today it's more like dining in an interstellar restaurant. Now, let's not forget gravity. In space, you don't walk, you float. This might sound fun, and it is, but it also poses challenges. Muscles and bones don't have to work as hard in microgravity, which means they can weaken over time. But worry not. Space travelers perform rigorous exercise routines to keep themselves in shape. But space living isn't just about survival, it's about thriving. The International Space Station, or ISS, has been a home away from home for astronauts for over two decades. Here, they live and work in a structure that's about the size of a football field. They conduct experiments that can't be done on Earth, make video calls to their loved ones, and sometimes even enjoy watching movies. But what about the future? We've set our sights further than just the ISS. The Moon and Mars are the next big destinations. We're talking about Moon bases, Martian colonies, and making humanity an interplanetary species. SpaceX, NASA, and other agencies and companies are working tirelessly to make these dreams come true. Now, this might make you wonder, what would it be like to live on Mars? Imagine a dusty red landscape, towering volcanoes, and canyons that dwarf the Grand Canyon. Your Martian home would probably be a habitat made to withstand radiation and extreme temperatures. Your days would be a little longer than on Earth, and you would have to grow your own food in specialized greenhouses. In a space colony, community would take on a whole new meaning. Every member would need to be highly skilled and trained, not just in their specialized field but in basic survival skills. Cooperation would be paramount. Imagine a society where everyone has to work together to ensure the air is breathable, the water is drinkable, and the food is edible. And think about the incredible diversity that space colonization would encourage. People from all over Earth, bringing their unique skills, experiences, and backgrounds to build something new together. This might lead to the evolution of new cultures, traditions, and languages that are born in space. Innovation would also be at its peak. The hostile environment of space demands cutting-edge technologies to keep humans safe. But, it's not just about survival, it's about quality of life. How do we create comfortable living spaces, grow different kinds of foods, and enable entertainment and recreation? Necessity is the mother of invention, and living in space will undoubtedly drive innovation in ways we can't yet imagine. Let's not forget the psychological aspects. Leaving Earth behind might mean you're leaving behind everything and everyone you've known. How do we keep people mentally healthy? Perhaps through virtual reality that can simulate natural environments, or through some form of space internet that allows you to stay connected with family and friends. Now, consider the perspective of Earth. As more people begin to live in space, Earth could be seen as a shared heritage, a reminder of where we all came from. It might even unite humanity in a way that's not possible when we are divided by geographical borders. Moreover, the resources of space are almost unlimited. From asteroids rich in minerals to the potential for harnessing solar energy directly from the Sun, space offers solutions to some of the resource scarcity issues we face on Earth. But with great possibilities come great responsibilities. The ethical considerations of space colonization are monumental. We must think about planetary protection, governance, ownership, and ensuring that the benefits of space are shared equitably among all of humanity. In conclusion, living in space is more than just a sci-fi dream, it's a glimpse into what the future holds for humanity. It's a challenge, an adventure, and perhaps, our destiny. As Carl Sagan once said, the Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in a cradle forever. So, let's dream big, work together, and take that leap into the stars.
There's so much more to uncover in this adventure of living in space. From the technologies that will keep us alive to the psychological challenges of being so far from home, space living is the next giant leap for mankind. So, as we gear up for an era where space is not just for astronauts but for all of us, we have to ask ourselves, are we ready to become citizens of the universe? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more amazing content.